Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Camillus fixed blade titanium coated. Uh, the item has not a number on it. Uh, the only model number is below here. The model number is 1938. Uh, so the packaging is a typical Camillus packaging of 2016. Uh, we see Camillus on top, titanium stainless steel, that means uh, titanium coated, full tang, non-slip grip, lanyard hole, a sheet is included and we have a bit of paperwork, mainly uh, advertising from Camillus. On the back side we have some more information there. Uh, we have camillusknives.com, that's the website and again uh, of course it's made in China and uh, uh, actually it's a knife assembled in China but I guess that means uh, made in China and the model number on the bottom uh, so this is a knife uh, that is relatively inexpensive we get that in USA for around ten dollars currently and I had a similar knife actually I still have that uh, from Camillos and it worked out pretty well so I did want to try out this one here as well. So what we have is a full tang blade of a unknown uh, stainless steel that got black blackish titanium coated. We have a, a hollow grind. We still see a bit grinding lines there all the way on top and we have a swatch on top as well. The swatch is not sharp uh, but it has uh, the it's not sharpened on top but uh, it still is quite quite uh, in a in an angle that you can't press down too much so it's a, a true switch there the blade is unfortunately not too thick uh, short of three millimeter I would say more like two and a half millimeter thickness and the handle the rubber handle is a bit on the thick side uh, so uh, for full size hands that rubber handle will work pretty well with the lanyard hole and here we have a contour uh, that you can ha hold it a bit better but uh, for sure the, the handle is made for a, for a full size uh, hand it's nothing for smaller hands uh, the blade is on the thin side so that is uh, optically give a bit uh, a strange impression with the thick handle and the thin uh, blade that we have there. The item also have no model number, we just see the Camillo's titanium on here and the rest is all plain. So that's about it. The lanyard hole is big enough for paracord, we have good 7mm there so that works pretty well. Uh, three serrations here so you can put on the dump if you wanna wanna do that uh, here it works pretty good on top uh, with the switch that is not that well the sheet is a typical deal like with many other knives it's a, a softer material it doesn't have a hard plastic insert inside here so that is um, not 100% safe if you're gonna hard use it uh, they only put in three of the rivets here and a bit of stitching all over that's pretty much what it is with the, with the snap the belt loop is relative big and again it's a softer softer material that uh, gray uh, yeah fabric or plastic material form Feeling material whatever that is is simply uh, soft so that that uh, is not a hard plastic uh, the knife fits pretty well in the sheet uh, sheet is more for uh, storage in a in a toolbox or something like that uh, the piercing uh, possibility if you if you fall down with that uh, blade and that uh, thin sheet is a bit on the on the dangerous side but other than that it is pretty pretty nice now I did use that knife already for whittling 
here in USA a bit bushcraft and simple uh, test it out and uh, for straight out of the box other than the the sheet and the, the a little bit on the thick side handle it fits and works really well uh, if you have bigger hands then that is really nice uh, it comes sharp out of the box surprisingly sharp because of the hollow grind uh, that is easy to resharpen as well and surprisingly that titanium uh, what they claim titanium finish uh, holds up pretty well uh, we don't have any any much uh, scratches and we see a bit where I did cut the wood but uh, maybe with a with a bit of oil on a on a rag that would even uh, go a bit more away uh, to there so all in all for those uh, less than ten dollars uh, for certain application for sure it's a nice knife uh, should last quite a while uh, it's just with the with the sheet I would not use it as a primary knife I would more uh, put it in the toolbox and uh, uh, situations like that uh, for that it is hard to beat uh, it works pretty well if you have uh, smaller hands you can always also if you want to uh, grind down the rubber material so that it is a bit uh, thinner on the on the top and on the bottom side uh, that would work as well uh, currently they make that knife as best as I see only in that coyote brownish uh, color uh, the black versions that they make as you see in my other video about a similar knife uh, has a bit of different uh, blade style and all that but uh, that is uh, depending on the taste what you have they even make one with a gut hook for a uh, like uh, a hunter style blade as well so all in all for the little money it's surprisingly good quality and good knife so that much about the Camillo's fixed blade